Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. It's uh, 12.33 p.m. here in Luray, Virginia. And I want to talk radishes for a minute. I want to show you the radishes that I ended up planting outside, the varieties, and then talk to you about which ones are working and which ones have been a little bit of a disappointment so far. But I'm not done with my season, obviously, and so I'll keep trying and keep uh, adjusting my growing conditions. This year, I planted pink lady slipper radishes. I got these seeds from Seed Savers Exchange. Crimson Giant from Livingston Seed. This is, I just got at a box store. Crossman Seeds, I ordered pink, uh, the sparkler radish. Sparkler radish with the white tips. From Baker Creek, I have Japanese wasabi radish. I bought these seeds last year. And I love the flavor of the radish, but uh, last year they weren't growing very big. Um, and I was a little disappointed at the production. This year I increased the PK of the NPK and I had the exact same experience. A lot of leaves and very little fruit, but the flavor is amazing. So I'm going to keep growing them and uh, keep making adjustments and hopefully get a bigger radish. Because um, I love the flavor of the wasabi. I got some French breakfast radish. These came from Little Shop of Seeds. Black Spanish radish. These came from TomatoBob.com. And White Beauty radish from Seeds Now. Those are also sold as White Globe from the Livingston Company. I bought this pack this year, but I haven't opened it yet because I used the Seeds Now ones first. The Pink Lady Slippers were very small. Mild flavor, decent, and they're pretty color, um, but they weren't a very productive plant. The Crimson Giant did amazingly. I have already pulled my first crop and I'm ready to plant some more, and they were true to their name. They were large, uh, uniform shape, excellent flavor, beautiful red color. Uh, I could use the fruit and the leaves. The Sparkler Radish, was like hit or miss every single radish was either a different shape or had more white and less red more red less white or vice versa and um in general were rather inconsistent but i i like the color of them so i'm going to keep growing those but really as far as flavor the the sparkler and the pink lady slipper really were basically the same they're just like a cherry bell radish um kind of middle of the road flavor the Japanese wasabi, I already told you about, it wasn't growing very large. The leaves take over. And so um, I had a problem with the Japanese wasabi radish foliage blocking other um, beet seeds and other radish seeds that I had growing around it. And so I kept harvesting from the leaves and just leaving about half the leaves on each plant to try to get more sunlight in and air circulating. Um, and then they didn't grow very large fruits. But the the flavor is exactly what I want. When I see something called wasabi, it really does channel the flavor of wasabi. The French breakfast radishes, and I can't even tell you how many seeds I have. I have like three, three different brands of seeds for French breakfast. And I've seen people's beautiful French breakfast radishes on other channels. They just don't grow well for me. I, I have never pulled a French breakfast radish that had grown to full maturity or had a good flavor. I'm going to keep trying because I, I'm determined to do it right. <laughs> but so far, I've not been impressed. And I, and I don't believe that's a, a, that has nothing to do with the seeds coming from Little Shop of Seeds because I've planted French breakfast radishes three years in a row now from different companies, and they all perform the same. The black Spanish radish, I'm basically still waiting to see what they're going to do. They are very slow to develop. They're taking their sweet time. They're in a, in a terrific bed where other varieties of radish have done better. Um, this is the only packet of black Spanish radish I have. So I, I planted one row, which is approximately 14 black Spanish radishes, and I planted them like well before my frost date and now we're almost to June and I, I see greens but nothing else happening. Um, they've been fertilized and you know with a low end a low nitrogen fertilizer 
to encourage bulbing and root production and I'm just gonna wait and find out but every other radish that I planted here I've already harvested and the black Spanish I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and haven't seen anything yet if you've had any um, if you have any tips for me for the black Spanish radish uh, please let me know or if you've had the same experience like they just took a long time but they were worth the wait let me know the one that has done the best has had the best flavor has had the most consistent shape and size the one that has had the most delicious greens, 100% is the White Beauty Radish. Uh, these seeds, like I said, came from seeds now. And and uh, I've already harvested a couple of crops of these. But I want to show you what I picked today. And they're just, they're gorgeous. And the leaves are um, mild and they're not over, you know, sometimes radish leaves can be like spiky a little bit. These ones have been fine, cut up and mixed in with other greens. I had one radish that on the surface, you can see how big it looked, but it had actually split <laughs> underneath, but it doesn't have any bug issues. It just needs a good scrubbing and it'll be perfectly edible. And the other three you can see are all relatively um, the same shape and size. The consistency of the size, the flavor has been wonderful. Um, I'm going to continue growing these now that I know that they're uh, reliable. I'm going to continue growing all of them because I love radishes and I want a lot of them. But that's been my experience this season so far. So leave a comment below. Let me know um, not only what kinds of radishes you've grown or what experiences you've had growing radishes, but also let me know if you have a favorite way of preparing or eating them, okay? It's great to have you here visiting my channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and there will be more content on the way. Take care.